Hi, I'm Rick Stevens in my studio in Santa Fe, and uh, we're just showing you a few pieces that are newly finished. Um, the one on the easel is from a scene from Nova Scotia in the forest, which I was this fall, and uh, very lush forest. I wanted to capture that idea. This one, I wanted to capture the floating leaves that cause these sort of contrasting shadows. I called it yellow leaves, blue shadows. And uh, one of a stream um, just called Flow. And then an, a small one that I started out on site here in Santa Fe and um, bring it in the studio and give it all the patterns that I like to play with. Primarily I paint with oils, but I also, about 10 years ago, I started adding wax to my oils. This is a wax medium here that you can just dip in and mix it directly into the oil paints, but also these oil sticks, which are compatible with oils, have some beeswax in them, so they all mix together nicely. And um, some of my tools are palette knives. I have a whole array of palette knives, very well used and brayers, which is a printmaker's tool. I have all different sizes of those. And the reason I have these is because I can mix this wax in with the oil paint and then put it on the brayers like so and roll it right onto the canvas. That's just another way to apply the oil paint. And I also use traditional oil brushes like that. And um, it's all kind of comp is compatible on the oil paint and I <clears throat> will scrape too so I have various knives here that I have handy for that reason. I'm always full of paint in my hands as well but I'll go right down to small brushes sometimes too. Uh, here is the drawer with all my messy uh, tubes of oil paint which I'm using along with the uh, oil bars like this. This is just the smaller oil sticks that I keep in the drawer and the larger ones I keep up on the easel. <laughs> 